Maria? Anyway, it wouldn't be a date. I'm just trying to help. Well, how's that? I see her in there. You're in a gamble trying to get out. I'll worry now, my lady. I'm here to set her free. Well, what about my outer nursing grad with a job interview on Monday? What about her still? They still need to rest up. options that are out there right now. <laughs> 
few places in it. I want to end up here. Virginia Beach is growing. It's going to be a demand for system engineers. What you should do it. Someday. So then I just get down here as much as I can.
Maybe he rubs his nose. Maybe he holds his cards a certain way. It could be anything. Well, this guy kept rubbing his sunglasses. Turns out they were just fogging up. <laughs> to another memorable evening. Hands morning. Mm. Mm. So what's your tell, Bill McGuire? I will never say. <laughs> okay. Well, then what's my tell? Easy. Your smile. My yeah. smile. There it is. <laughs> It's a blinding light. That is so not true. It's the ultimate smoke screen. Mm. You've been using it now. Oh, really? Mm. How is that? Because you saw me in the mirror a minute ago. And now you're trying desperately not to let on. It's <laughs> okay, babe. He's 
lobbying for Cindy. Oh. <clears throat> the guests are seated. How much longer? Ugh. Speak of the devil. Uh, five minutes? Okay, well, he can lobby, but I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs>
Hi, Melanie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What a beautiful accent. Where are you from, Daniela? <laughs> oh, I'm from Brazil. I'm here for school. In Newark? Yeah, uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology. NJIT. <gasps> it's a good school. My husband actually works there. Oh, right on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Daniela. So have you ever donated eggs before? No, but a friend of mine did, and she said it was a perfect way to make some extra cash, you know? Hey, I, I wanted to ask you. <laughs> this guy I'm seeing is worried that the hormones will interfere with our sex life. Is that true? It can happen for some donors, but most of the time the biggest complaint is just the mood swings. Well, nothing you can't fix with some fine jewelry, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, Daniela. <laughs> oh, call me Danny. Everyone does. Okay, Danny. Uh, so today's pretty simple. It's really just about blood work. I've got a gown for you right here. I'm gonna step out while you get undressed, and the doctor and I will be back in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. Danny. Danny de Cruz. Yeah, Danny de Cruz. I know, I should have been a pop star, right? Kind, selfish. You're a 
best nurse. We'd fall apart without you. <laughs> um, yeah, I can just wear these. Yeah, well, I actually need to just sign this, this paper.
fresh start. You guys can start over. You'll never change. What are you doing now? Uh, um, <laughs> I couldn't sleep. So I'm just uh, getting some work done. Three in the morning? Go back to bed. I'll be there in a minute.
four bedroom, three bath residence in Warren County. <laughs> the future. So, Chief. Yeah, they, they have to belong to the legs that washed up last week. Same brand of suitcase, the Kenneth Cole. Probably one of those luggage sets. Yeah, he working on it. Almost done. Copy that. My God. Does this to another human being. Stepdaughter Melanie here. Yeah, she is. Can I tell her what this is about? We should talk inside, sir. All right, come on. I went to her house. The cleaning lady told me she was here.
really is, Anita, by the way. This is not adversarial. Oh, Judy's just my divorce attorney. I only asked her to be here as an extra set of years. All right, Miss McGuire. If I could start with the last time you saw Bill. Yeah, um, April 28th, in the early morning, around four or five, is when he walked out on us. On you and your children? Yes. And this was at the house at 2902 Plaza Drive? Right, yes, we just had a fight. The fight noted in the temporary restraint order, actually five, two days later. He got physical. It wasn't the first time, but I was worried about what might happen when he came back. Physical meaning violent? Yes. You did the right thing, ma'am. Too many women wait. So had he not died, Bill would be coming back to divorce papers. That was your intention. I retained Judy right after the restraining order. Okay. So, just so I'm clear, the fight that led you to end the marriage took place the day after you and your husband closed on the Warren County property. Yeah. A ridiculous timing, I know. It's a beautiful house. I mean, it's like a dream home, really. Not Bill's. You talked him into it? Well, that's what the fight was about. Bill had a gambling problem. I loved this house, but mostly I thought real estate was a good way to lock up our money so that Bill couldn't touch it. Okay. The next step for us, we need to search a home. You want a Kenneth Cole luggage set, Ms. McGuire? Uh, I do. I did. Uh, I don't know. I think Bill took it with him when he left. I don't know if it's Kenneth Cole, but it's maybe some of the name brand. Miss McGuire, this, this laptop, yours or Bill's? It's both of ours. We shared it. May we take it for a few days? Yeah, of course.
Skin fragments. Most likely tracked down on someone's shoes. Good. I think you should know that in person, I find her convincing. Steady as she goes in her interviews. I find Meryl Streep convincing. She's still an actress. Gentlemen, our person of interest just got a lot more interesting. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, we are not maligning the victim. 
No, she says he got rough with her, but we don't know that. There's no report of that. I thought we were discussing motive. We are. A motive that gets a win for us. You know, a victim who had it coming isn't going to do that. Neither is a, a sad, weepy childhood story. You know, but what will is a secret lover. Obsession. No, it... Oh, the fantasy of starting a new life with someone about any of the trappings of her old one. I mean, people can relate to that. <laughs> Who of us hasn't dreamt of doing that, at least at one point? Of killing our spouses? No, of being free, free, totally free of, of a mess that we've made. Okay, Jerry, tell me our story. Bro? The night of. Early morning, actually. 4.30 a.m. The suspect claims that... Uh, Defendant. Oh, we haven't charged it yet. Well, let's just try it on for size. <laughs> right. <laughs> the morning the defendant claims in court filings and police interviews, she had a fight with the victim and feared for her life. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I regret to inform you there was no fight. The night he and Melody closed on their dream home and celebrated with wine, she killed him in cold blood. And Bill never saw it coming. How could he know? Two weeks earlier, the defendant was on her home computer conducting internet searches on how to sedate someone. That just two days before that night, she drove to a Pennsylvania gun store where she would purchase the 38 caliber Taurus revolver she would use to kill him. How? Could he know that just one day before, she forged her lover's signature and handed over a fraudulent prescription of 500 milliliters of chlorohydrate syrup to a pharmacist. How could he know that when he closed his eyes that night, drugged from the altered wine she had given him, That he sleep just long enough for her to drop the kids off at preschool and return to end his life. How could he know that he would never? Hey, have a good day. You do. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
degree murder of William McGuire. Counsel's request for a preliminary hearing is denied. Bail is set at $750,000. Yes, this is Michael Campararo. I do all my banking with you. Can I speak to a loan officer, please? I want to take out a second mortgage on my house. No, no, no. I'll hold. I need to speak with her right away. The arrest of Melanie McGuire represents a 13-month effort to bring William McGuire's killer to justice. Now, forget the prurient headlines. This young man was the father of two who served his country, and I will forcefully honor his life with our actions in court. We haven't decided if we will seek the death penalty, but the rank barbarity of this crime certainly puts it in play. No, that's, that's all for now. Michael! It's all over the news. Charlie's not talking to me. 
no surprise there. The RMA fired me today. Brad, I'm so sorry. The detectives called me. They want to meet with me again. About what? They think I'm your accomplice. For something that didn't happen? I know. Um, the others trying to scare me. They said, on the day you bought the gun, we were on the phone for 100 minutes. <laughs> you know what that looks like. Well, we did nothing wrong. Well, you tell me, right? I mean, if you had anything to do with what happened to Bill, you'd tell me. I already have. Just say it again. And my children's lives a thousand times over, absolutely nothing. I know. I know. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. No, nothing. It's really, I just wanted to hear it again. I gotta go, okay? I'll, I'll check in with you later. I know what you're thinking. Why me? The easy answer is, you're the lover of a murder suspect who we believe had help. But another way to think of it is, you're in a position to help her. Could be we're way off. What you get from her proves it. You're way off. I hope so, Dr. Miller. I really do.
open the goddamn door! Open the door! Fine. I'm done with this. I know, it's okay. It's okay. That must have been very scary. What happened next? Prezi 
Mafioso maintains, without evidence, that Dr. Miller was Melanie's entire motive for killing her husband. And yet, I ask you, where on those many tapes recorded during raw and intimate moments does my client admit or even imply she had anything to do with Bill McGuire's death? Nowhere. Even as Dr. Miller pressed her over and over for the confession Ms. Prezioso so desperately wanted. While Dr. Miller was making those recordings, he was still seeing my client. He was still trusting her. He was still loving her. Despite everything these detectives were telling him. Those recordings only exonerate my client. They show the true, the unguarded Melody McGuire. Imperfect? Yes. Seeking refuge from a cruel and violent husband. But a depraved killer? No way. Never. So let's be done with all this. We can grieve the victim and we absolutely should. But members of the jury, I ask you, end this persecution of an innocent woman. Melanie McGuire is not guilty of this crime. Allow her to get on with her life. Allow her to go home to her children. Thank you.
Miss Davis, thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. I just hope the jury does the right thing for Billy. Patty has fought so hard for him, for us, for justice. And we're rolling. It's day two of jury deliberations. You're out on bail, a free woman. Staring at the very real prospect of life in prison. The waiting must be... It's happening. Yeah. What's going through your mind? Patty told a good story. Hell, if it were a movie, I'd watch it. Melanie has been lying about my brother for two years. And now this trial has been seven weeks of nothing but lies, lies, lies. And it's time for a verdict of guilty to finally shut her up. Joe Takapina told a story, told the truth. A version that, quite frankly, many people are having trouble believing. Well, let's hope the 12 people who matter the most are smarter than that. I feel most for her parents, Linda and Michael, who I've always adored. She's put them in an impossible position. What kind of a person doesn't search for the missing father of her children? Even with all of our problems, I desperately wanted Bill to be found safe and alive. For weeks after Billy vanished, I begged, begged her to go with me to Atlantic City, to pressure the police there, to make phone calls to anyone who knew him, to help us. She refused. And that told me everything. Should tell you everything, too. Thank you. Finally, let me ask you about Dr. Miller. He assisted in the effort to convict you. Do you hold it against him? No. They threatened him, and he knew I couldn't incriminate myself. If you could do it all over again, would you still have the affair? I don't know. Do you still love him? I did. What do you think happened to Bill? Do you really think he ran afoul of the mob? He certainly fits. No money on the street in AC, that's how you get bullets here and here. Regardless of the verdict, when this program airs, viewers are going to hear claims from you that are impossible to corroborate. Why should our audience trust you? control over that. But I know that I'm innocent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We're done. Jurisdiction of 